A big welcome to everyone. Today I have a 12 by 12 layout for you and this time I am documenting the lines outside of Coles to get in. This was during the, I think it was the second week of isolation and to get into the Coles shopping centre you basically waited anywhere between half an hour to an hour just to get in because of the social restrictions. So I started off my layout by picking this gorgeous paper. Now this paper with all the molecules is called COVID-19 and the collection is from Photo Play and the collection is called Living the Quarantine Life. This is my second layout for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft and all these lovely goodies of Living the Quarantine Life are on at special prices for the month of July so I will leave a link for anyone interested in the description below. I will be working on my title first. Now this title is from it's a cut file from Gwen from the store Cut To You and I will try to remember to leave a link down below and I'm using the Inca Gold Lava Red. I just love this red colour but you will see that later on this changes. So I'm going to put that aside to dry and then it's back to my layout and I have no idea what I'm going to do. So I thought that first I would match my photos because they needed to stand out from the from the background and I'm just using this scrap of paper from one of my previous layouts I kind of remember what the paper's called and all my photos are matted and I'm just putting that down and I really have got no idea what I'm doing I did audition some of the other papers in this collection but nothing really worked with my photos so I will confess that I struggled with this layout and in all honesty I'm not 100% sure if I even like it even to this day so I'll just give it a bit longer to see if this layout grows on me. So what I've got here is the ephemera pack from Photoplay and the ephemera pack is obviously called Living the Quarantine Life. So I'm just auditioning different ephemeras and putting them down and I love this COVID-19 so I end up putting that on my photo of where my daughter is. Oh, obviously I'm going to play around. It did take me a while to get this layout right and I did play around with everything. Now that little blue blue tag that actually says oh let me see let me just get my layout and it says stay six feet apart. So for us in Australia it was 1.5 meters. So the other blue little banners the blue one says social distancing and the red one says stay safe the orange one is flatten the curve and yeah the, the last one says stay home for and they all bef uh, before it all of them is the the hashtag symbol so originally i thought i was going to put them on the top the top uh, right hand corner and then i moved them to the to the top but then I'll move them down the bottom and I did play around with everything. This is one of the layouts that just did not come easily for me. And like I said earlier, I'm still not sure if I like it. So in the end, those banners um, stay exactly where they are. And I'm just tracing around roughly where my photos and my titles are because I decided I was going to add some colour. It was all looking a little bit too bland. I did just so the paper beforehand and then I got out my lava red inca gold again and because it was on, on hand I just mixed it up with a bit of water and I did the famous packaging technique where you just smoosh it down onto the paper. I should add that I did dry this layer of red paint before I went in with my gorgeous blue acrylic paint from Dina Wakely and this colour is called Lapis. So once I finish smooshing this gorgeous blue paint onto my layout, I will dry it with my heat gun and then I will go in and do some stenciling. The stencil I'll be using is from Tim Holtz. I believe it's called Stitched, but please don't quote me on that as my brain has gone soft and I cannot remember for the life of me. So I'm doing my stenciling and I should add that this is part of my core products for the month of July and they are on special in Auntie Vera land and if I haven't mentioned before I will leave a link to Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft in the description box below. Because of all the mixed media that I decided to do at the last minute my title was not going to stand out from all that busy background so I'm going in with some embossing ink and then I'm going to use the Rangers embossing powder in the colour black. I decided that black was going to be a 
better color for my title and on this video you see me just give it one coat of embossing but in actual fact I had to do it three times and the end result was a beautiful shiny thick black title which I just love you can't tell that it's a handmade title on my silhouette it looks store-bought so really happy with the outcome okay so I've bought my I put everything back together again and I had this scrap piece of paper and I decided that I'm going to use my little trimmer cut it out and I want to put it just behind that photo there and of course it's going to be a little bit too big so I trimmed it down a bit more a bit more and down it goes then I sort of thought, oh, I don't know if this, I like this. So I brought my ephemera back in and I'm going to start playing with it and sort of deciding where everything's definitely going to go. So I've got my little banners there again and I really couldn't remember what I had done with it. But I loved that little hand sanitizer ephemera. So that does stay next to my daughter and the COVID-19 stays there where it's just next to my daughter on, on top of the photograph. I like how that all is all looking. And basically this is the layout. I do glue everything down off camera. I get more of those scrap pieces of paper and put them behind the behind the photos, giving it a sort of visual triangle. And then I decide I'm going to do some splatters. So I made my splatters with some Dina Wakely acrylic paint and I watered it down with some water and I'm using a paintbrush. Now in uh, on this camera, you can't really see it, but in real life it sort of has these it looks like little raindrops, misty raindrops that's fallen all over the layout. It's quite effective. So there you go. Okay, now this, I saw this toilet paper and I decided I was going to do a little bit of fussy cutting. And I had the idea to use the toilet papers as the center of the O's. Because really, you cannot think of COVID-19 crisis and not think of the shortage of toilet paper. It's really quite funny. So I did do a little bit of um, fussy cutting and there are the toilet papers in the center of my eyes. I just thought that that was quite funny. Well, that's how I amused myself anyway. And that's the layout. So I hope you like it. There's some, there's some um, still shots coming up. And thank you all so much for your support. And I hope to see you all very soon. Take care, everyone. Thank you.